started drumming in fourth grade when band got started in my school district. I actually wanted to play tuba with my friend, but my mom was like, you're too skinny, you can't play the tuba. So she's like, you should play drums. And I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, I just got started in the summer band program in fourth grade, and I really liked it. I had my little snare drum kit thing on wheels. I'd drag it to the school and get lessons every single day. When I, and I was going from eighth grade band into high school, I, was, I had literally, actually, I had just seen Blast, and I had just seen uh, Jeff Queen and Nick Angelus like, do all their cool stuff, and it was in Chicago, like, two years prior to that. And I was like, you know what, I want to I wanna play a snare drum. I want to hold my stick like, I don't know, I want to hold my stick like this, it looks cool, and then I wanna, just want to play like really fast notes and just be the center of attention, the rock star of the group. We're gonna invade people's breakfast time. You gotta apply it. You gotta apply it in your home country. Oh, a little oatmeal. Mm -hmm. These girls over here don't know how to work a toaster. <laughs> hey, shut sure. up. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The best way to eat cereal is with a fork and a cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You don't look too happy. That was good, right? We'll work on it. Looks tiring. <laughs> that made me dizzy. Whenever, like, you hear Michelle go one, two, ready, go, something like that. Everyone goes into their poses and stuff like that. I bring up my right leg and my hands come up and like you just see a spit, like a stick like rotating like this, just like on the tips. And in this hand, we've got the stick balanced in between like our thumb and our middle finger. Today at the show, like when I'm standing there looking up in the audience, it's so funny to just see people be like, oh, hey, hey, did you see that? And then it's like camera, camera camera turn it it's hard not to smile during a moment like that because it's just like wow opening moment of the show and you're already kind of like having this kind of reaction just wait you know like we haven't even started doing anything yet and as long as we play well their opinion just continues to enjoy the show i suppose uh definitely we have a very demanding show we have a lot of multitasking a lot of new things i've never done before the head movements is a big thing like uh it changes your listening environments when you turn your head it points your ears a different direction, and if you wear earplugs like I do, it, it changes the shape of your ear and then your earplugs, so it gets quieter, it gets louder, it changes as you turn your head because it changes the shape of your ear. So that's definitely one thing, and um, a lot of drum head movements that we do, like I've never used so many zones on my drum before. Oh, oh yeah, everybody, I've got this, this flip camera hanging on my harness today. Um, I'm gonna check out, like film the show that way. See if I can improve myself by watching my own playing zones. That's what I'm talking about, waffles. Waffles? Why waffles? Because he's from Belgium. You're from Belgium? You're from Belgium. That's why I call you Waffles. So, my name is Martin. I'm originally from Belgium. I still live there. Um, I came out here to North Coast to play snare drum. North Coast, well, I, I got in touch with them because uh, in 2009 they came over um, with their Echoes World Tour um, to Belgium, where I live. Um, I got in touch with these guys, saw that it was a really great group, and I just wanted to like be part of this group. I played uh, marimba for the Madison Scouts from 2008 till 2010. Uh, I aged out last summer and after that I decided I wanted to be part of North Coast Academy and play snare drum for them. My reflections on this season, what I've taken away from it, well, I've learned a whole lot about um, I'd say managing a group, just seeing how, how an inner group's being run. 
Um, next to that, my own playing abilities have improved, my own marching abilities have improved like, greatly. Uh, it's been great working with the staff, they've been really, really cool about everything. They really try to like help you as an individual. Um, so, so in Europe, in Belgium, I'm working with uh, a percussion unit called Drum Spirit. We got 6th in Percussion Independent A, which was really great for a, a European ensemble. Um, this year I've been writing their new show and I, I'm, I really want to help and build the indoor scene in Belgium. I really want to be one of the fundamentals over there and therefore I'm here to learn more about this scene, about how it's run and how to take care of things. follow your passion. A lot of people second guess themselves like, I love this activity, I love music, I love drumming, but I just don't think I can commit myself to it, you know? It's like that extra step of just admitting I love this, I'm willing to do this for six months and just take a little side trip from my life, you know? Some people, a lot of people are really scared to do that. So I definitely admire Martin and Sora both just for doing what they do because it's huge sacrifice, huge commitment to this, you know?